look how much Bitcoin has gone up. Whoa. It was all the way down there this year. Uh, that was 2020 actually last year. It went all the way up, all the way up. Right now, current price is about 51,812. That's the US currency. If we go to Canadian currency, it's about 65. So uh, that's that's how Bitcoin is. Bitcoin is very expensive, and of course, it was kind of like um, you know more speculative stock. But now it's coming to mainstream. You can see from Elon Musk, Elon Musk, and you know other um, other institution start using Bitcoin and start embracing it. I think that's the main thing right now. Bitcoin, and um, you know, if you're a young person, I think it's a time to invest in Bitcoin. But then you can ask me how because bitcoin i mean you know it's so much complicated to buy it but now things become easy and that's what i'm bringing you this news today it's so much i'm so much i'm so happy today to bring you this news because things are getting better and easier so if it's your first time make sure you subscribe to the main goal for me here is to uh, spread education knowledge because a lot of people are missing this knowledge so let's go to it let's let's get to it let's get to it so as of today purpose bitcoin etf this is a company out of toronto is just uh came up with a, with a, a first world bitcoin um first world bitcoin etf uh if you don't know about etf etf is an exchange traded fund so it's a pretty much like a fund that tracks certain uh, investment there are a lot of uh, uh etf um for example the etf that track s p 500 um, the ETF that tracks, um, uh, for example, uh, banks. You know, I personally invest majority of my money in ETFs, and then I also buy individual stocks. So ETF is one of the safest way to invest your money, if if you want to know the truth. Um, so now, um, you know, of course, this is Canadian fund because this is a this is a world first because there's no anywhere in the world right now that the Bitcoin has already. Um, been uh, approved uh, to be into uh, mainstream funds like an ETF. So, but now, as of today, this start trading. They start traded at uh, Toronto Stock Exchange. Um, let's go. Before we go into this, let's just go here quick. I'll show you um, the trading volume today. This is uh, today. It opened at ten. So when they they opened this fund it was about ten, and it went. Um, he shut all the way to 59 he shut all the way um day price is between 10 or 7 to 11 uh 52 weeks range of course there's no 52 today's the first day look at the volume about 9 million volume of this it was traded today um you can see here so let's go back to this fund and see what's happening um until up today, it was very hard to, I know a lot of young people, a lot of us who want to invest in Bitcoin. For example, I, my first Bitcoin, I use, um, I use a Coinbase to buy, uh, to, to buy my Bitcoin. And, you know, it's so complicated. You got to transfer the money and everything. It's just harder. Um, but buying ETF, I think is the best way because this ETF, as we can see here, is a hundred percent track the Bitcoin. So the price of Bitcoin is going one percent this will go one percent so um, the world first bitcoin etf on piece of history with the first physically settled bitcoin etf available to investor no wallet required so you don't need a wallet like a passcode and all that stuff um physically settled and safely held in cold storage so this isn't just a claim to paper bitcoin feature so other Bitcoin, for example, when you want to buy a Bitcoin, sometimes it's just a future Bitcoin. You know, futures, um, it's a de de derivatives. You know, you don't really buy Bitcoin itself. So what they do with this, this fund is actually buying the Bitcoin. So you give them $10, they take that $10. Of course, they're collecting a bunch of money from different people. They go actually to buy physically Bitcoin that they're going to store. So you don't have to worry about like, a, you know, wallet or digital or secret to, to put your passcode and all that things, you know. Uh, you don't have to worry about those because you just buy an ETF and you can buy at any place. You can buy at your bank. You can buy at your brokerage. You know, if you, you're you well simple or uh, course trade here in Canada, Bank of America, RBC Bank. Uh, it's a simple to trade. So you can just buy. You can wake up all in the morning when the market is open. You buy and sell at any time you desire. And you can also, the other advantage of this fund is you can also invest in your um, RSP TFSA 
here in Canada, of course, tax free savings account and registered retirement savings uh, plan. And um, so that's a good thing. You can invest in those accounts you know, as of today. So the ticker symbol for this, if you ETF, if you want to buy tomorrow, there's a two types. There's one that it's on US currency and the other one is on um, Canadian currency hedged um, hedge meaning it's um, it's kind of protected against the, 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 the dollar uh, exchange so pretty much it stays the same if you ten dollar Canadian it's gonna stay that way it's, it's been hedged against the other currency so um, a ticker symbol um, would BTCC uh, B that's just uh, Canadian um dollars and if you want to buy the us dollar for example if you have us dollars you can use uh btccu i mean the performance will be the same you know because it's hedges so performance will be the same it's just a currency right so you just happen to have a us dollar in your account then you can use that one or you can use that one um management fee is one percent and uh, asset under management right now of course is zero because I mean it's just today so there's not much reporting to it the prices of now uh, now of price um, net asset value is about nine dollars basically you can see from Yahoo Finance is about ten dollars that's the price of um, you know just depends on the market what happens tomorrow um, um, management expense ratio is about well there's no management expense ratio because an ETF he doesn't have uh, so about one percent um, MER management expense ratio uh, fund structure is investment trust distribution frequency annually if any so if there is any derivative or something like that they will give you that also there's another fund that I um, I actually am holding it right now because this is just open today so before this one there was this guy from um, uh, 3iq is also one of the Bitcoin fund but the difference is that this is more of a uh, um close end fund um and it also has you can also it's a qbtc it has us uh currents so you can buy in us currency or you can buy in canadian currency so 70 canadian and also you can buy at us um 54 uh 55 right now this is the one i'm holding right now but i'm planning to sell this uh, and buy this one because it's you know it's cheaper in terms of management expense ratio I show this one here management expense ratio uh, so how much is they charge in fee is about 195 percent almost two percent that's a lot you know so because of that I will sell this one and I'm going to buy this one because they all track the same asset which is Bitcoin so um, I think that's it you know I can add two two more things you know the reason why I, I personally believe this is the best way to do because first of all you don't have to deal with I mean I think it's, uh, you can buy in your in your RSP as I said and also you don't have to remember the password um, uh, you hold and track ETF uh, Bitcoin in exactly the same way as Bitcoin it trades um, and of course you can buy in Canadian currency you don't you know you don't have to worry about like if you're from Canada you can just buy a Canadian currency and it just happened that you have US currency you can just also use US currency to buy it um, strategy my strategy I can tell you right now is that when the Bitcoin deep when it deep when it you just put your money down like you know put a lot you don't go just dip. I mean, just like a ten dollars and ETF if you invest as cross trade I'm gonna put a link below. If you invest with Quest Trade, guess what? You don't have to pay any fee to buy and sell your ETF. So it's literally free to buy. So if you have ten dollars, it goes ten dollars. You put in. You get twenty bucks. You put in. Don't go all the way in because Bitcoin, so far as we know, yes, there is a value in the future, but so far it's still um, more speculative nature. Um, so don't put your, your money in Bitcoin. You know, and uh, the other the reason I like Bitcoin is because. Um, I've invested a lot in stocks and ETF and you know all this thing but then I need other some, some sort of other assets so and now uh, for example we know gold is it's pretty much been taken over by Bitcoin so I think this is the best way for you to uh, diversify have different assets right um, so uh, that's it for today if you really like this video uh, please uh, like it share 
and um, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I will always bring you uh, financial news, financial education things. So, and you know, you can be more informed on your money. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Till we meet again next time. Bye bye.